Hey guys, this is Mad Panda Games here, and today we're going to be tackling another episode of The Boss, so let's get started, guys. And, yes, file two. Now, I believe, can I leave? I should look around some more. No, okay, I guess. Okay, I heard that. I know, I know what I have to do. Okay, I guess I'll go in here. So many people. What the heck? Okay. I noticed you've done a bit more work on my bathroom. You might want to catch MTTV tonight at 9. New show about interior decorating. Hey, Asans. You sure make a lot of friends in a short amount of time. Am I really your friend already? All my subscribers are my friends. Aww. That's beautiful right there. That is very beautiful. At least, I like to think so. Guess I'm still chopped liver. I'm withholding judgment on you. Wow, harsh, Jack. Harsh. Well, I'm still here and I've still got a business to run. You wanna buy anything? Tempting, but I already bought most of the stuff already. It'd just be repetitive. Repetition is the key to success, you know. Success for what, in this case? In this case, me. But I thought that was obvious. Okay, so I get so we can't buy anything. So let us go and let's walk fast. Do 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 do. Now can I go over here? Hello again, Jack. Hello again, Toriel. What brings you to this portion of the house? Can't a man want to visit his own kitchen? That is a pressing question. Can he? Well, I do not see why not. However, I'm afraid that the kitchen is in a state not suitable for human eyes. Does that mean what I think it means? Yes, for the sake of your mental health, I am forbidding you from stepping foot into this kitchen until further notice. Time to call my insurance, I guess. Good thing it's just in, uh, it's just in the computer, not real life. Well, see you guys. Wait! I have something for you. Okay, what do you want, old man? Old man, what do you what, what do you want to give me? Papers, please. Okay, potato man, just let me into my room. Very bold move, trying to enter your room with such confidence, but I still can't let you in. I think this might be revenge for all the times you denied him access into glory greatest country. But he was always my favorite. Just because he's your favorite doesn't mean he won't help you. Come back with passport, entry ticket, and vaccination records. Never thought this guy would be such a stickler for the rules. And before you go, take this. A potato? You need food for your journey. Okay, but a potato? Yes, literally, a potato, it will not help us. It is vi vitally important. Glory to Arstoska. Guess we're not going to get a sufficient explanation. You got the potato! Yay? Question mark? Yeah, question mark. Those merchants made me really glad I've got Sans here instead of them. He's too lazy to try and kill me. Okay, and now let's go. Let's see where the next portion of the game shall take us. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, Stanley worked for a the Stanley Parallel building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed Who buttons. Who thought we've had keyboard. voice acting in this Orders game? Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Sounds boring. This is what employee number 427 did. Wait, hold on a moment. Cut the music. You're not Stanley. We're not Stanley. Who the hell are you? Why are there four of you? When did I ever indicate that this was a multiplayer game? No, no, not here. It's been five seconds, and yeah. we've already Just pissed off the narrator. Good job, yeah. Jack. Fine, very well. Who are you? Um, I'm Jack. 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 Oh, no, 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 I can't. I can't call you Jack. Jack's a rubbish name. Jack is not a hero's name. Says you. Jack is the name of a man who slaughters streetwalkers in 19th century London. 
Whoa, that came out of Jack nowhere. Jack is the name of a financially challenged boy who disobeys his mother, climbs a beanstalk, and steals from a giant. I didn't realize how many bad Jacks there were. Jack is not a hero. Rude. I mean, sometimes I go by Sean. Sean, Sean, Sean. I could live with a name like Sean, but Jack? Yeah, yeah okay, I, I guess. I guess we're going Sean. The protagonist of this adventure. You are not Stanley. And I'm not saying you're not Stanley. I'm saying you are not Stanley. In parentheses. <laughs> the hyphen in between. It's very fancy. You look great on your business cards. I'm already liking this more and more. Ugh, forget this. Let's just go through the stupid door. But first, we must save. Do, 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 do. Save, and now let's leave. I was going to refer to you as not Stanley and the Three Bears, but in the efforts to avoid confusion, I think we shall rename you all. Stanley, rename? Stanley Jr., Mariella, and you... Mm, I think you should be called Finn. You rather look like a Finn to me. Who is he talking to? Stanley Jr.? <laughs> Not a word! Okay, Finn is Cliff. I guess we'll just walk around. Can we go through here? Nope, can't go through here. Can we go through here? Do you smell anything coming out of this room? Or is it just me? It smells like Chinese food. It smells more like Vietnamese food to me. How can you tell the difference based on the smell? Billy! That's racist! How is it racist? They have similar cuisine! I'm just messing with ya. You're really making me question the decisions I've made in life. <laughs> Might not want to piss off Billy. He seems to be the only one who really knows what's happening. Can we go in here? Nope, can't go in there. Can we go in here? It's locked. Why would they lock the door? I don't know, Cliff. Maybe because they don't want four total strangers walking in on them? That is a very reasonable explanation. That's an oddly specific motive. Well, you can interpret it like that, but I'm going to interpret it the way I want to interpret it. Jack, why? Just why? Because cookies are delicious. That just about sums it up. No, it does not. No, it does. Yes, I am Billy. You're really weird. Like content provider, like subscriber. Okay, this is weird. This is weird. Can we go in here? There's a little sign on the door. Looks like a legally binding contract. Weird. By entering this room, you agree to blah blah blah. Wait, what? Waive all rights to photographs taken of you in this room with or without your knowledge or permission. Do okay, let's not go in this room. Oh, so it's basically like going to a convention. Even the hippopotamus clause? What happens at PAX stays at PAX? What the hell happens at PAX? I've got to go to some of these conventions. I am missing out on so much. Oh, there's another the boss is nothing. Hmm, is this referring to the hacker on your computer or the boss of this company? What if it's the same person? What if it's a mob boss? What if he sets the, wi the virus mafia on you? I'm pretty sure there's no such thing as the virus mafia. Oh, there is, but it got banished to another computer. We, we, we just not gonna talk about it? Can we go in here? Nope, can we go in here? Nope. Can we go down here? Are all these doors like locked or something? A door! As doors go, this one is adorable. Ew, insert bad booze, bad pun, shame on you. Why do you enjoy tormenting me so? Don't be so selfish, Billy. Anyone who's played Happy Wheels enjoys tormenting you. Dang. What about this door? Can we go in this door? This door is made out of balsa wood. I could probably punch right through it. But it's locked for a reason, so I won't. What's your deal with locked doors? Well, in horror games, locked doors usually hide, well, horrors. But this is the Stanley Parable. That's not really a horror game. Yeah, see? Billy is literally taking the words right out of my mouth. Oh yeah, because the Stanley Parable is one of the great horror games of our generation. I don't know. Could be for somebody. It's eerily quiet in there. 
I guess whatever is in there is dormant. Why must you hurt me in this way? Because hurting you in other ways would cause your game to become unplayably corrupted. Come on, Billy. That's common knowledge. Read the law of death permanence sometime. I told you all that! Jack, I think you're raising his digital blood pressure. Good. His blood will splatter farther. No! No! Hey, Jack, it's you! Why is it me? Because you're a dork! Boo! Boo, you all suck! <laughs> okay, well, I'm not good at coming up with stuff on the fly. It's okay, Billy. In these sort of things, patience is... Hold it, wait for it. Key! Ah! <sighs> Just insert booze in, like, for every pun they do. No more puns. I ask you all. Oh, no. Faced with the impossibly grandiose decision of which way to go, not Stanley chose the red door on the left. So which way should we go? Red or blue? I feel like this is a test of our personalities. You know, come to think of it, even though I just went through a death-defying situation with all of you, I don't really feel like... I don't feel like I really know you all that well. Well, to be honest, we haven't really had any spare time to talk either. It's just kind of been from one thing to another. I mean, we found you behind a wall, then we got arrested, then we got trapped in FNAF. And I don't even want to talk about what happened with Fran Bo and the lava. So, yeah. Hmm, we should change that. Well, first we should probably pick a door. I remember on Game Theory, psychologically, the color red is associated with competition and action. Whereas blue would be more associated with intuition and puzzles. So, we're either going to be shot to death or be destroyed in a game of chess. I think it has something more to do with personalities. You know what? Never mind. Wouldn't it make more sense for this to be about obeying versus disobeying, since the narrator specifically told us to go through the red door? Wouldn't it be more of a challenge not to go through the red door? Maybe he should have told us to go through the blue. But it's so simple. All I have to do is divine from what I know the narrator. Is he the sort of man who would put the bad ending behind the door he endorses, or the door that he doesn't? Now, a clever man would put the ending behind the door he doesn't endorse, because he would know that only a great fool would do what they were told by a disembodied narrator. We are not great fools, so we clearly cannot choose to go through the blue door. But he must have known we are not great fools. He would have counted on it, so we can clearly not choose the red door. So, it's still 50-50 either way. I guess we could flip a coin. Let's just pick one at random. No, let's not do that. You know, screw it. I'm going through the red door. Are we going to die now? Are we going to die? And here we are in the meeting room. Surely set for a meeting of the minds. Which is why not Stanley was not invited. Hey! Oh, very funny. This narrator's not very nice, now is he? Now, I guess we'll just go on our way. Oh, it's another door. Do we go past it? Oh, there's two doors. Screw it, let's go in this one. And so not Stanley arrived at the broom closet what did not contain any brooms. It was a lovely little closet. Though it should have been called a shelf closet, or anything. Then why isn't it just called that? So immaculately articulated in beautiful pixel form, there was not a broom to be found. Then can we just leave? Is there anything here? Anything? Anything? Okay, I guess we'll just leave. Oh, and now that broom is boarded up. Yippee. Hope we didn't miss anything bad. Or good. Oh, what the? Not Stanley triumphantly blundered into his boss's office to find that no one was there. Now he could play with his boss's secret keypad, but he'd never know seven, the combination three, was seven, two, three, two, six. six. Oh, not Stanley. Seven, three, two, six. The boss's office looks really different than it did in the original game. I guess whoever was in here last did some interior decorating? Yeah, it looks different than the last time I was here, too. I wonder if it merged with something. Like what? It... Kind of looks like your recording room. That's what I was thinking. It looks like it, except it's in a different color. Yeah, it does. 
Oh, well, maybe it happened when the apartment came here. Maybe it did. Weird. No, I don't trust this. I don't trust this. So, 7236. I wonder if this one is being possessed by the boss. Okay, the boss is not a demon possessing your computer. Maybe it is. Okay, but imagine Alphys as an exorcist. This is the beginning of a fan fiction. This Stop not giving... This not Stanley. This what? is plain English. A, B, C's, 1, 2, 3's, 7, Why? 3, 2, 6. 7, 3, 2, Why is he talking? Stop giving the internet ideas. There's enough weird Alphys fan art out there. I've seen things. Horrible things. Look at his face. He has been traumatized. Very traumatized. Okay. Oh, he just talked without it. Okay, yeah, by the boss. Do, do, do. Are we doing this again? Okay, then I guess we'll go. Is, oh, this must be it. Okay. Seven, three, two, six. Ta-da. Is anyone wondering if there's something kind of weird going on? Nah, of course not. Everyone gets sucked into their computer at least once. It's practically mundane. I meant with the narrator. Well, he doesn't really sound like the narrator from my copy of the game. Mine either. Maybe it's an imposter. Okay, do we really need to start coming up with conspiracy theories? I'm just saying he's acting kind of weird. I guess I'm mostly concerned with why the boss's office looks so much like yours. Yeah, that is weird. I wonder if it has something to do with this boss guy who's preventing me from getting all of us back. Oh, oh, I got it. Maybe it's you. Oh, please tell me it's not one of the egos. Um, I'm pretty sure I'd remember sabotaging myself. No, no, hear me out. Okay, so, so maybe you're gonna end up in Oxenfree, right? And you'll bang your head and go evil and then go back in time to sabotage your past self. Ooh, scary. And we all just evaporate? Okay. Okay, but that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Yo, yeah -oh. this does not look good at all. Okay, this doesn't look right. Oh, it's this area. Finally, not Stanley found himself in a truly terrifying and chilling place. Not that scary, not that terrifying, and not that chilling. A cavernous chamber. Filled to the brim with television monitors, upon which bearing the numbers of all the employees, and not Stanley being one of them. Ooh, scary. I'm shocked, not slightly embarrassed, but altogether the mysteries were beginning to build and compound to one satisfying and grandiose conclusion. Not really. Why'd we stop here? I don't know. Maybe to press buttons. Do you do everything without thinking it through first? No, I think a lot of things through. Very seriously. Like naming you Billy. You did that off the cuff. Well, what else do you think we need to do in this room? Actually, I think Jack might be right. Might as well press those buttons and see what happens. This is the worst thing you could do. Press those buttons. Okay, I guess I'll press this button first. Bad things are going to happen. Did nothing happen? Okay. Do we press this button now? Nothing's happening. Hmm. Nope, can't press that button anymore. Can't press that button anymore. Okay, I guess we're leaving. Where to next? Back to the elevator, I guess. I think I saw a hidden button there that we might have activated. Who knows? What? Why didn't you tell us this before? And aren't, shouldn't we be finding another like subscriber by now? You think? I think we're supposed to find one every, like, aplo apropesian key, whatever it's called. So is anyone hungry? No, not really. We're data. We can't get hungry. Exactly! It's so weird not to get hungry anymore. Is that why you've been talking about food this entire time? Don't think I haven't noticed. 
I'm just trying to remember a time where I had the comforts of eating delicious food, like cookies, and cakes, ooh, sweet tooth, and chips, well, salty tooth. Sounds like my kind of meal. Yay? Can we go now? Now I miss being hungry. Why did you have to bring it up, Cliff? I was happy not noticing. <laughs> now everyone's sad. Wait, what's in? Can we press it? No, we can't press it. Okay, I guess we're walking here now. We're in a new place. Should we be scared? Anything? Mind control facility. The mind control facility was too horrible for not Stanley to comprehend. Had he really been controlled this entire time? All his thoughts, his actions? No, I don't believe so. Okay, what do we do? We just leave? We just leave or do I have to press any buttons? Mind control is idle, awaiting input. Do I just press a button? Oh wait, let's Not turn it on. I didn't have to worry about the on button because it what? was broken. Okay, can we turn it off? And he did it. Somehow. What? All possible odds and expectations. What? Not Stanley had freed everyone. What? It was a joyous, exuberant, what? classical example of a hero done well. Everyone would be free. No one would be told what okay. to do, what to think, or where to go. No one would have Good to for us? After being Slow clap? Fairly for something they didn't even do. And our hero, not Stanley. Bravely and proudly basking in the glow of whatever he did that freed everyone. Well, he knew where he was going. Where are we going? Another bright adventure. Wait, did, did we win? Did we get our key? Why it feels if this is going to take a dark turn? Door. Should I be scared? No. Oh. Come on. No. Damn it. That was a beautiful story. I don't want to have to do it again for not Stanley, who won't appreciate it. Hey. I am a highly sophisticated not Stanley. I can appreciate it. Well, I can't get someone who appreciates my stories. Now we have to do it all over again. And it won't even be the same story because you're just going to pick something else. Oh my gosh, stop whining, narrator. I'm in this with you. You don't be mean. Oh, what will the narrator say? It would be so angry now. Let's go in the other door. Let's push something else. Let's lock ourselves in the closet. Wait, you can what lock yourself in the closet? What do you do? Can we do that? Can we do that? <laughs> I think he's angry. Should we leave? Curious as to what happened. Not Stanley left his office. Okay. Oh no, do try to contain all of that excitement. I'm gonna save here and do another part next time. So let's save. And so this is Mad Panda signing out. If you like my content and you wanna see more content like this, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Once again, this is Mad Panda signing out. See you later, guys.